Hello, uh, Headmaster, Reference, Fellows, colleagues, and dear students. Uh, this is my turn uh, for the sharing session this week, and uh, I'm standing here on the behalf of the discipline committee to talk something on the, um, the matters of concerning with uh, discipline. However, I was learned that uh, I have a full discretion to choose the topic I like, and therefore I switch it back to my expertise, that, that is chemistry. For those who don't know me, uh, this is Mr. C.C. Charles. I'm teaching the chemistry from G9 to uh, G12, and uh, the department chair of chemistry. So the topic, the topic I have today is for carbon sequestration. So uh, I like the feeling standing in front of you at the middle of the hall, and therefore I don't use any IT. IT equipment and uh, as for this topic and of course you may just uh, check it from the uh, uh, web to see what cycle uh, I mean carbon sequestration is but in uh, by nature or by definition it just involved the carbon capture of the atmospheric carbon dioxide down to the earth crust it's not difficult because uh, in terms of combustion, we have a lot, uh, high demand of energy and we combust uh, fossil fuel every day and therefore we produce megatons of carbon dioxide and release it into the atmosphere. Of course, research have uh, uh, investigated that there's a lot of uh, side effect on such combustion and release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, that is the global warming effect. And uh, therefore, it's an urge for us to say, for example, to capture and to defer, to defer the effect of such global warming. And by carbon sequestration, there are some method. Some are just uh, very old, uh, but some involve advanced technology. And the first one, say for example, we have to capture the atmospheric carbon dioxide in gas form and then make it or turn it into liquid form before it just store it on the earth crust. And although we call it a more advanced method, it's costly, you, you can imagine. Uh, it involves uh, turning into a high pressure fluid and then you have a special container. If not a container, we have to transfer it into some used oil rig or some oil mine or coal mine. But you can imagine also the side effect is yeah, it is very difficult to monitor the safety concern in terms of safety concern. And the second uh, issue is that we have to do some, say for example, grow more plants by means of photosynthesis. It just reverse, reverse the whole process of combustion of fossil fuel. And whenever I think of photosynthesis, I will say hallelujah from the bottom of my heart. If you know how stable carbon dioxide is, you just uh, know that it's very difficult to convert. It is irreversible in a certain sense in terms of chemistry principle. Carbon dioxide consists of carbon O double bond. It's very difficult to break it. If you just want to break it, you involve, it takes a lot of energy. And therefore, the mother nature, the mother nature just uh, do very good way. We, use, we can use plants, we can use plants to convert carbon dioxide together with water under the influence of chlorophyll and sunlight and get it for glucose and oxygen. And that is the main essence for we to live every day. The oxygen is 
of vital importance to the life on Earth. And to grow more plants, that means uh, you have to uh, stick with a certain routine or pattern, and therefore, that is the second method. And the third one is also called uh, the pyrolysis of wood or logs. Pyrolysis of wood or logs uh, to form charcoal. So this is a very primitive way. However, a lot of, say for example, anthropogenic activity is also done by some of the local native, say for example, Amazon natives, and then some of the people living in Africa or Australia, they still doing it. Because the turning into charcoal, not only the result of uh, carbon capture, but it can also increase the fertility of soil in, this, in their life. And therefore, if you just uh, check it, this will, in fact, uh, improve uh, the vegetation growth in terms of crops and other production. And uh, this just involve the cellulose in plants and convert into carbon. And all this, well, I just want to arouse your interest in the, each and every connection concerned with our society and environment. And uh, from science, it is neutral. It is yourself to set up your own rules of regulation to start investigation, but everything is just interconnected in terms of our society, in terms of our environment, and so on. So uh, in my opinion, I think everyone, you, in terms of uh, uh, boys of DBS, you may action today by start growing plants. <laughs> you may say that uh, start growing plants is uh, not a way uh, very effective, but uh, that means there's a gesture post, uh, to show your concern about environment. And uh, if one student will go a tree, 100 students will go a forest. And that is what I want to say. Thank you.